Hey, this is Josh Hewitt. It's time to do it with Hewitt. And today I have some footage from a core workout I did with my buddy Andrew Raposo from fightersabs.com. This is his extreme core finisher. A lot of these exercises are tougher than they appear. If you want to check out his full program, I put a link down in the description below. But for now, let's take a look at this workout. Josh looks like he's ready. We're going to start with the long plank walkouts. Push up position, abs nice and tight, hips don't move. Brace your abs like someone's going to hit you in the stomach. Good, walk out, walk out. Take your time on the walkouts. Feel your abs. That's it. Good, good, good. Walk out. Good job. Walk back in. There you go. I like to see that. Don't move your hips. Keep those abs tight. Come on, Josh. Good. Abs really tight. Good. You're just doing five reps. So make those reps good. Good. And your hand placement, you want about shoulder width. Shoulder width's a good position to start. That's it. All right, now long plank armpit touches. So we're gonna go walk out, long plank position, remember? Hands above your head, that's it. Challenge yourself, good job. There you go, yes. There you go, Josh. Good position, don't move your hips, brace your abs hard. That's it, challenge yourself. There you go, all right. Now we're gonna go into the plank side touches, third exercise. For this one, we're going 10 reps on each side. Abs nice and tight, touch the side. Good, that's one. Very nice. And remember feet position. The wider you get your feet apart, the easier you make the exercise. Getting the feet closer, you're making it more challenging. There you go, that's it. Goal is to keep those hips from moving. Abs nice and tight, abs nice and tight. Squeeze your abs harder. Good, 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 good. Take your time with the movement. That's it, and relax, good, rest. Rest 30 seconds to a minute, that's it. Good, if you need to rest longer, that's fine too. If for any reason you feel your low back or anything else hurting, stop the workout immediately, take some time off, and then go back to the workout. That's it, do that core break. Right now we're working your abs for strength, which is very important, very neglected too. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna go for our last set. Round three. Remember our last round is always the best round. Push up position, walk your hands over your head. That's it, abs tight. Always pretend someone's gonna hit you in the stomach. It helps so much. My favorite cue to use. Good, take your time with the walkouts. That's it. Good. Good. Good, take your time. That's it, all right. So now long plank, armpit touches, five reps each side. Good, good, that's it. Nice job, Josh. Good, that's it. Hands back to the same position they're in. Good, good, good. Very nice, all right. Plank side touches, last exercise. Let's make it a good one. All right, on that plank position on your elbows. Let's go, Josh. Abs nice and tight, touch the side. Good, good, two, that's it. Good job, Josh. Good, good, that's it. Good, keep it up, Josh. Very nice, good. Feel free to take your time. That does make the exercise harder. <laughs> nice <laughs> job, good job, Josh. All right, guys, that is your extreme core finisher. Uh, the name explains it all. Give that a shot. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next workout. So I'm going to talk about supplements in general and then we're going to talk, uh, give you a little bit of information about supplements specifically related to strength. But when it comes to supplementation, the main thing is to focus on your strength training, your exercise, and your nutrition before you even consider supplementation. 